Uh, hi, welcome to Miss Anderson's art class and here I'm just going to review how to change this image into black and white in Photoshop. So right here in Photoshop I've, I've opened it up and I'm just going to go to image adjustments black and white. Okay, here the cool part about adjusting the in this like little color slider I can see what happens if I adjust the different colors that are in the image. So the bison is the animal that I've chosen. I want lots of values in this image, so I'm gonna hit okay there. I'm gonna come back into image adjustments, and then I'm gonna go to levels here. And levels, I can pull this part, I'm just gonna make my darks darker. I'm gonna go all the way, but you don't wanna do that far. And I can pull this part, it's gonna make my lights lighter. So just kind of increasing the contrast. And this little slider is gonna sort of toggle between the two. So I like that, there's lots of lights and darks in it. And so that I can now see this image and then to save it, I go to File, Save As. And I mean, I can give it a new name if I want to, like Bison BW. I'm just going to save it to my desktop, but if you wanted to, you could save it into your documents. Okay, like that. You could make a folder, etc. So, but in this case, um, I'm fine with saving it to my desktop right here by Send I'm going to hit save and OK. Um, I kind of probably want two photos, so I'm going to come back in here, image adjustments, black and white, okay, image, adjustments, and notice that I am choosing photos one where I've got um, the, the whole body of the animal and one where I've kind of got more of the head file, save as, on the desktop by saying BW2. That will make them easy to find if I need to search for them. So I have everything set up so that it's gonna appear right here. Uh, once I've done that to print these guys, I'm just gonna select them both and double click. Hold the shift key so that they're both selected. File, print. Now here we want to actually put them both on the same page. So right here in layout, we're going to go to two and there they will come up. As long as you have them selected in the sidebar, they're going to come up like that. Um, and then I believe I have auto rotate. That's going to be right here. So if I don't unclick auto rotate, it's going to keep it the original orientation, but I want to make the most use of my paper. So once you've done that, you can just go ahead and hit print and you are ready to go. So in case you are starting from scratch, I'll just review right now how you open something. So I have got um, here, you gotta navigate to wherever it's being stored, which is all up here. And you click on open. So that's how you can open something like that. Or if you want to open something by dragging it onto Photoshop, that's something you can do too. So if I want to open this image in Photoshop, I can just drag it on to Photoshop, the little icon. It should open. And there we go. It's opening up right now. Okay. So that is just a review on how you take an image, change it into black and white, save it, and print it. Let's get these up and ready so we can do our Peter Karen.